So I wanted to say something about religions. And that's because people are mistaken about what religions are in many cases. First of all, everything that we live in in this existence is false. It's an illusion. It's a delusion. It's, or you could say, it's just what it is. It's not right. It's not wrong. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have a purpose. Existence is just existence. However, when you look at the relative level of things, not the absolute that existence is just there to exist, but you look at the relative level, you find that there's nothing but insanity. That our world is delusional and the people in it are totally indoctrinated. That the programs that are running are false and that everything basically is a religion. Now, I come to this because World Cup, the so football or soccer, um, is going on since a while. I never watch it, but I see people go totally nuts about it. And I think uh, tomorrow is the final or something, and it is incredible, but I think there's going to be probably a, a billion or uh, one and a half billion or two billion people that are going to watch the final game. So we're about, they say that we're about seven billion people on the planet, and two billion are going to be watching it. That's how big this is, right? Now, somebody asked me, why, you don't watch football? And I said, no, it's, uh, I don't believe in football. I don't, I'm not religious. And of course, they looked at me oddly. So what do you mean? You don't watch football. I said, why do you say you're not religious? Is that because it's a religion. Football is a religion. And people are like, they don't understand what you're saying. You know, they say, if, you, if they ask you, do you go to church? And you say, no, I'm not religious. They understand. But when I say, do we watch football? I say, no, I'm not religious. They don't understand. Because they don't understand that football is a religion. Now, what's the basis of a religion? A religion is a belief system. That's all it is. A belief in something. And not necessarily the creator of the universe, but the purpose of life or something that has value. It, religion is just merely a system that says that a certain thing is something and has purpose or meaning. Now, football is exactly one of those. Because technically there's nothing happening. And I mean literally, there's nothing happening other than that which is happening, which is useless or purposeless or meaningless. I'm saying that the arbitrary lines that are put into the grass of a football field were made up. They were made up, the size of the court was made up, the, the, the lines were made up. At some point, some people came together and they decided kicking around a piece of inflated cow skin, stitched up dead cow skin, inflated with some air, and then they made some lines, and then they said there's so many players, and so many this, and so many that, and the keeper can do this, and then there's halftime, and there's so many minutes, and then there's a yellow card, and a red card, and penalty shots, and you name it, corner shots, and all these rules made up, totally made up, like religions are made up. There's stories told about a certain thing, and then people believe it, and when people together sit, believe it, there's a group, and they're a religious cult, they're a, that's their culture, Right? Currently, we have a football culture, a cult, and it's a religion. And the people come together. And a bunch of guys who are well overpaid are kicking around this inflated piece of cow skin, stitch up like a Franken ball. And people go absolutely nuts. And you know what I mean when I'm talking about nuts. People in the crowds have painted faces. They've got shirts on. They've got little hats on. They're eating disgusting popcorn and drinking deadly Coca-Cola and all the garbage that they are consuming at the stadium. And they're going totally nuts over an idea, which is a religion, that there's something happening because the ball is going from here to there and then it ends up in behind this metal frame with the net on it. And because the stadium was built there, it could have been built here or here or here, but suddenly there's this arbitrary line created in their own mind, which everybody believes in inside of the crowd, and they get the idea from each other, they infect each other with the religious idea of these lines and the goals and what is happening, and they go completely nuts. Now, if you've ever seen a, a, a dog that has, I don't know what you call that, mad dog disease, I think it's called, or something, mad cow disease, no, mad dog disease, it's this disease that gets passed on to dogs with, um, I think, through bats or something like that, or, or even rats, I think, and they go completely crazy, like, you know, they just, when they get sick, the neural system is affected. Well, I see that. When the goal, when the ball goes into the goal on this side or on that side, that part of the crowd is all depressed, that crowd, part of the crowd is happy, and vice versa. 
And I see people literally going insane. I mean, if I was from another planet and wouldn't understand what the hell's going on at their religious level, at their fanaticism, that's what fans are anyway, fanatics. And then I would think, wow, like we see these things, these um, in 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 evangelists or whatever they're called, these priests that um, hit people with their with their shirt or with their coat or something. They go, bless the God will bless you. And everybody's going, ah, and they're shaking on the floor and falling on the ground and people are catching them and stuff. And, and they're, you know, all this stuff is going on. This is what the football players are doing. I mean, the ball goes into the goal and people are going, ah, yeah, and you could see the insanity in their face. I mean, you see the eyes and they're like, yeah, yeah, and they jump up against each other, they hug each other, they kiss each other. Of course, the other group is doing the opposite because it's existence, up and down, you know, black and white, hot and cold, you know, good and bad, right and wrong, up, you know, happiness and unhappiness. So the existential stupidity of these religions is that they actually believe that this is reason to celebrate. Now, waking up and breathing and seeing a beautiful sunset is not a reason to go <laughs> to these people. But when a soccer ball goes into the goal, which is totally an arbitrary made up story line, which is totally fa fabricated, it's reason to go completely ballistic. Now, re remember this, people are traveling across the planet. Some of these teams have private planes or they rent an entire plane, they got buses, they got hotels, we've got stadiums that have been built out of all kinds of materials that can hold up to 100,000 people. We don't have one stadium, but we have across the planet thousands and thousands and thousands of stadiums built out of concrete and steel and aluminium and plastics and everything that's needed to go in there to destroy the planet because we're stripping the planet of its resources to build these useless Colosseum, bread and game story bullshit, religious, really, really your churches. I mean, these are the churches of the people nowadays. The religions of the, the, the normal religions where people see as religions have their churches and their mosques. And these religions have their stadiums, which is their church. They go to church, people fly all over the world, get into a plane, use the, the, the aluminium in the planes and the jet fuel and the pollution and the, and the garbage at the airports, then all the stadiums that had to be built, then all the popcorn bags and plastic bottles and cups and shit that's going in into and through these stadiums end up in piles and piles and piles of garbage junk shit behind the stadium of course not in view i mean even if we just give the football players the soccer players give them the garbage that came out of that one game and stuff it in their house you'd see how poisonous this religion is and the people sitting there are going nuts now I don't know how clear people see this. I mean, I see it clearer every time and clearer and clearer. So clear that it's like unfathomably whacked out, totally useless, crazy, insane, moronic, ignorant, I mean, delusional, whacked out stuff. I look at these games and I see, yes, there's a, there's a thing rolling and kicking it and it's going over there. But what's the point of you as a crowd getting totally excited at the level of extreme exhilaration or jumping up and there's something happening in them. There's, there's, there's hormonic, hormonal um, fluxes going on. There's bodily reactions going on. There's literally stuff going on. It doesn't happen when their wife gets out of bed anymore for most or when they're waking up and seeing the beautiful butterflies or the sunshine or the sunsets or the beautiful ocean. People have a very mild reaction then, but when the soccer ball, the football goes over there into a net, they go crazy. So I'm talking about a relative level here. I'm not talking about the absolute level because the absolute level existence is there just to exist. It's just what's happening. But the reactions is nothing other than software programming. Cultural conditioning, it's a religion. A religion so big that two billion people probably gonna be watching the final game of the World Cup when there's actually nothing happening at the World Cup. There's actually nothing going on. There's arbitrary, made up fantasy storylines that a bunch of guys who dedicate their lives to that are running behind a piece of Frankenstein cowskin sewed up leather ball, kicking it around and going totally nuts themselves and the crowd and the billions or millions of people that are watching it over these televisions, right?
these narrow tube visions. And it's not seen as a religion, but it is a religion. It's a massive religion. There's no event at the, let's say, a Catholic, Catholic or Christian or Muslim level that people would watch, so many people. There's not even a, a Muslim event that would be watched by two billion Muslims. So the biggest religion, uh, or one of the biggest religions at this moment, of course, money and these things are religions as well. I'll probably make a video about that, but in, in education and, and all these things, they're all religions. We're living in a world of religions. We have make-belief. I mean, literally, we make a story up and we believe it, then the groups all copy the behavior and as they sit together with hundreds and thousands of people, they exhibit the same behavioral patterns of each other, endorsing the belief system that it's somehow real what's happening, endorsing to them each other by saying, well, they're cheering, they're freaking out when the, when the goal goes in. This is something to get really excited about, and I'm excited about it. And so they fall for the same religious thing by looking over their shoulder to their peers and the, the cultural and the sports conditioning of all their entire life and what the TV has presented. And now you've got a full-blown idiocracy, a full-blown, freaked-out, fanatic, psychopathic religion in full-blown where people are spending billions of dollars on. I'm talking stadiums, talking traveling, I'm talking hotels and cars and trucks and everything that's going on, the shirts that are poisoning all the rivers which are made in these countries that are pumping out all the poisons for the stupid shirts, little flags hanging everywhere with country also made up flags from made up stories that there's a country called so and so because we have made fictitious borders and box things in and out and, and, and segregated and divide, uh, d divided all these little segments of compartmentalized stupidity into these realms of just religious nonsense. And all the stuff that's going in and all the food that's going in and all the soccer games and all the stadiums and we're just destroying the planet and destroying each other we don't care we're just indiscriminately abusing the earth and stripping it of its resources for our stupid crazy useless religions like football insane it's insane it's totally insane it's a religious insanity so don't think religion has fallen on a backdrop. Don't think that in the West religions have gone back and now in most Western countries religion is seen as something like, yeah, we don't we don't deal with that anymore. You know, we don't we don't impose religion anymore. We don't put religions onto people anymore. We don't do it at school anymore. No, we got all the games. We got all the soccer, football, baseball, basketball. We got all the religions in all its forms, full blown in our society on every corner of the street going on. No, we don't need to have it in school anymore because we've got it everywhere. We've got it everywhere on every TV, on the sports channels and all the religious fanaticism. Totally insane religions. So be careful to think that there's no religions in a society or that people are not religious Besides all the religions like science, this is full-blown religion. Football and all other events where people get out of orderly excited about something arbitrary which was made up by humans themselves.